How much is preventing you from being silent so that one can finally listen to what the heart is saying, what the heart is trying to tell you? It's trying to tell you about so many things all of the time, but there's too much noise, too much chaos, as I've said before. There are too many distractions, too many Weapons of mass distraction. They're all over the place. Relentless in their pursuit of you, their target. You are the enemy, therefore the ultimate target. Especially, obviously, if you are a real heart. The artificial isn't going to target another artificial. That's for the system. That's a system player. It doesn't need to target that or go after it. It's going after the heart, and it needs to distract you constantly, lull you to sleep, make you think that everything is hunky-dory, just fine, it's all going to just trundle along forever and ever, amen. And because one is caught up in all of these myriad of distractions, just 10,000 different things bombarding a person all at once, all at the same time, all over the place, you can't sit in silence. You don't have a moment to do that. It's just non-stop bombardment from every possible direction. Especially when one is consumed by being busy all the time. Just busy with the circus things. So there's no time to not be distracted. It's just constantly being distracted. Every minute of every day. And then it consumes one's energy until there's none left. And then one hits the repeat button on that to do the same thing again tomorrow and the next day and the next until it's too late. And that's the whole point. If one isn't sitting in silence, especially right now, you're not hearing the immensities that are being told to you. And they are. They are astounding. So what is one going to do? Are you going to still be caught up in entertainments or politics or ridiculous concerns like what the next 10,000th gender is or whatever the hell that these system players are trying to present? It's all a ruse. I hope this is being seen by now. And if it's not, it really is time to start paying much closer attention to what's being done. Are you still caught up in sports? Are you still caught up in having to watch a movie every day? Yeah, that's a that's definitely a thing. Oh, what movie am I going to watch tonight? Oh, I worked hard. Now it's time for me to sit down on my couch and turn on the tube and zone out for two hours or whatever. I deserve it. Deserve what? To be distracted and lulled to sleep some more? Told that everything is just fine. That's good. Just lay down there and let this black screen of death Just consume your entire being for the next several hours. And it does. Is one seeing what these weapons of mass distraction are? Yeah, getting caught in partying. Going to the bar. Getting drunk every weekend. Distractions, distractions, distractions. They're all over the place. You just have to pay attention. How many of these are consuming your time and your life force, your spirit? Remember, as I said, you have an inheritance. It's your heart. That's your spirit. You've been given that inheritance. How are you spending it? It matters. This is not something to treat as a joke. And yes, it could be seen as well that 
these types of things. I'll throw myself under the bus. Maybe this is all just another weapon of mass distraction. Sure, toss me under that bus too. Absolutely. I maintain, unsubscribe. Stop with all of the distractions. If you did that, at least you would be listening to the one thing that's telling you the truth, which is your heart. That's what matters, especially for what's to come. Immensities are going to be unfolding. Absolute immensities. Who's going to be ready for that? And of course, all this is in my belief again. I have to always make that very clear. This is just my belief. So yeah, when you're sitting in silence and you're being shown and told about what's to come, gaining the sight line post-2020, about the vision that's to unfold, because that is what it's about. It's two visionary aspects at war. It is a very real war. But who can see it? Who knows it? Who conceptualizes it at all? That's another question. Who can even fathom that this is happening? There's too many in the truth paradigm that feel that they're the creators of this whole construct and such absurd ideas like we we're the ones who made all this happen we're god it's just absurd again as i said already it's a bunch of hubris and yeah it definitely does come before the fall how many declaring themselves to be god what a joke Do you really think that you would have tossed yourself down here to experience a circus hell for fun or for enlightenment purposes? It's ridiculous. So no, in my view, that's not at all what any of this is about or what's to unfold is about. But one has to be sitting in silence without the distractions, without all the weapons of mass distraction countering that silence, just constantly delivering chaos and noise and just absurdities. And it doesn't care. It doesn't care if it takes every last ounce of your time and energy. That's the point of it. It doesn't care about your perception at all. And thinking that you enjoy watching all of these things. You enjoy being distracted. Well, that's nice. Go ahead and keep enjoying it. Because when the rug gets pulled out from under you, or everyone, I should say, then... There's not going to be any more distractions to enjoy. It's going to be done. That's the whole point. But that's what the heart is speaking. It's telling everyone. But who's listening? Who's paying attention? And of course, this is again in my belief. But of course, this is what the heart is telling me. I just wonder who else is really listening. Or just caught in the chaos caught in the city-like banter that's just incessant it's just so repetitive it's like a broken record that's just repeating itself over and over and over again but on full blast and yeah it's time to unsubscribe from all of that all of it and if one wants to see me as a distraction one of the weapons Feel free, go ahead. Absolutely toss me into that category. As I said, I have no problem with doing any of that if it leads one back to themselves. Back to your own heart. And you can finally, finally hear it. 
Yeah. I remain passionate about these things. I always have. All of the efforts over the years, all of them have been about this. It is a pursuit of truth, but it's more than that. It's a pursuit of what's inside of oneself, which is the inheritance, which is the kingdom of the heart. So if it takes unplugging every single device that you have or throwing it in the garbage, if you, say, live in an apartment, literally throw it out, throw it out from the fifth floor and watch it smash on the ground any of these devices that are distracting you. Literally just whip that shit out. It's not doing you any favors whatsoever. And slowly, with the time that you have left, start feeling the relief. And start being in the silence. And one is going to come to understand what is being said here. But unless that's done... I am just speaking into the void, wondering who is actually listening. I wonder how many real hearts there are out there. It's so obvious. Still, the majority of those who are here are artificial. That's just a fact. They've been outed and they don't like it one bit. They loved, as it can be seen, to play the victim card. I'm a victim. You've messed with me. (laughs) It's just hilarious. You artificials are actually very funny, by the way. I actually do find you quite hilarious. Even in your abusive tonality, your abusive strategies. There's, There's even some hilarious aspects in that regard, too. Because you're just relentless and absurd. So I I repeat, because it's necessary and important to repeat important things. I am only speaking to the real, the real hearts. Get rid of the weapons of mass distraction. Start really paying attention to all of them. There are lots Get a notebook if you have to. Start listing them. And get rid of them. All at once, if possible. Or at the very least, piecemeal. Alright, that's all I have for today. Take care. Talk to you again.